Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm David. And this is Matthew, and we're the Bear Family. And welcome to our channel, Gaming for Cozy. Now I'm going to go over um, what I got everybody for Christmas. Um, so I'm going to go over what I got everybody else and then we will end with Matthew. So I'm going to start with my niece and nephew since their gifted is right here. So I just got them a chocolate milk uh, Nes Quick. I can't say that but here's the syrup. It has two cups and two spoons. So yeah, they can make their own chocolate milk. And for my brothers, I got them each a Hungry Jack pancake mix with syrup. It's pure syrup. Um, so I thought they would like that. So they each got one. So my mom, I had no idea what to get my mom. I had her stockings this year, so I knew small things to get her, but when it came to a gift, I had no idea what I should get her, um, because she is kind of going through a, a declutter phase, like getting rid of some stuff, so I didn't want to get her anything that was just going to, you know, be another thing that she has to find a spot for, or, uh, I don't know, later on just get rid of, so I tested my brother, and I asked him, uh, my younger brother because he spends a lot of time with my mom and I asked I need ideas for mom he gave me an idea to get um, an air fryer cookbook but for uh, baking so I went on Amazon and I found this air fryer dessert cookbook for my sister I got her a few things um, just because the they're small so at Five Below, I saw this perfume, and it kind of reminded me, because she likes Taylor Swift, so she's a Swifty, and so I wanted to get her things that kind of remind me of, like, Taylor Swift albums. This one kind of reminded me of Lover, so, and it smells really good. So I got her that one, and then this is... Actually, I can't remember which is which. Are the bracelets, and there are two, so she can give one to a friend. Um, and they say Evermore, which she said was her favorite Taylor Swift album. So I got her those. And the next thing is not really uh, Taylor Swift inspired. Um, I just noticed my sister wears rings a lot. So her fingers are like covered with rings. So I got her these rings. There's a gold and a silver one. So here's the silver one and it has an M with a diamond. And it is adjustable. Here's the gold one and the diamond is below M in this one. So yeah. For my uncle, he's artistic and he does like things like things he can use uh like fidget spinners and uh, when i was a kid he always had keys um but he also likes a lot of snacks and stuff and it is kind of a family tradition to give people food in our family um so yeah i've given my brother's food i got matthew some snacks and i got my uncle these like, christmas tree brownies okay so first of all we did not go crazy with Matthew this year uh, just because we couldn't afford to go crazy with him. We had put so much money into our car this year that we could not afford a whole lot of stuff for Christmas. Um, our moving out fund <laughs> was pretty much purged through, which, ugh. Um, I feel like I get a little get somewhere and then something happens and then I have no choice but to use that money. We had to use some of that money for our car. So 
because of that. Um, we didn't get Matthew a whole lot of stuff, but which is good, but also like, I know that, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know. So if you can't like compare to Matthew's, Matthew's first Christmas, we didn't really get him any gifts because we, I just had him and he just got home from the NICU like in November of that year and everybody else got us stuff too but uh we spent like my whole pregnancy getting him stuff so we didn't get him anything in particular for Christmas that year. We didn't get anybody anything for Christmas but nobody um everybody understood like why and then the next year I was working, David was working, and we also had the child stimulus, and so we kind of went crazy for his second Christmas when he was one, um, and then last year we miled it down, but we still got him more stuff last year than we did this year, um, and I don't know why it's so, like, I know that you don't have to spoil your kids for Christmas, everybody, you know, will tell you that, like, especially when they're young, if they don't understand they'll be fine with just like, I don't know, like pot and pan or whatever. And they're just fine with like a stick, but, um, it still bothers you as a parent that you can't, I got interrupted, but what I was saying was as a parent, it still bothers you. So, cause I know this from like having my friends not be able to get their kids Christmas presents and me telling them and now that I'm a parent it's like it still bothers you even though you know that yeah they understand they're young especially when they are young they understand Matthew's only three he still doesn't really understand what's going on um but it still bothers you so this is a small small but he is getting things from other people and in fact keep that in mind um, the first thing that we did get him was this house tent. I have more room in this bedroom than I did in my last bedroom, so I can easily set this up and let him play in this. So we can take this outside sometimes and let him play, and it's just so cute. I've had one of these actually on my wish list forever. Um, but I didn't get the one that was on my wish list. That was actually more money. And this one was on, was like really on sale. It was like 24 bucks. Um, and the one that I wanted to get him was like 50. So I saved a lot of money getting this one. It is a writing tablet. It's a dinosaur framed writing tablet. He likes to draw on my notepads and then turn the page and draw and turn the page and draw. And then my notepads are all covered up with sprinkles. Or sprinkles. <laughs> covered up with scribbles. So I got him. My pen is behind it. So I got him this. So he can draw on it and then press the button to erase it and then draw on it. I'm actually going to write a note to Matthew so I'm going to erase it. <laughs> There'll be a little gift for him. What should I write? Merry Christmas, Matthew. So when he gets this, there will be about like a note on there for him. It is locked. So even if you press the button, it doesn't erase. So I buy the low. It's Toy Star or Toy Star. Toy Story. This was only five bucks and it's just Matthew's size so it's perfect. In the morning, in the morning. My mom uh, has a video of my, I don't know if she has a video, but uh, my brother, my older brother had an oratory guitar I guess and he would be on his bed at like I think three or four years old. In the morning, in the morning. And I was a baby. Uh, go over. Oh, here's another thing. I'm missing a part to it though. I need to clean up my closet and find it because I think it slid against the wall in my drawers. But big 
Legos because my nephew and niece have Legos but they have like little tiny ones and Matthew always always trying to play with them and he's never had these ones he has like those big jumbo like toddler um, blocks but he hasn't had big Legos and so I got him this and I also got him uh, the board thing so he can build on that So, we got him a pair of maroon pants to go with this maroon sweater that has a truck on it, blue sweatpants, and this orange sweatshirt that has blue on it, David picked this out, so yeah, it makes sense because David is a gamer. So. The treats we got Matthew is one of his favorite, Goldfish. I got him the Flavored Blast Fish. Got that at Walmart. And then he picks this out and I was like, do you want that? So I was like, okay, put it in the cart. Is these little bites. He got those. And now I'm going to go over the stockings. I know I've shown you guys the stockings before. But I'm going to show you guys everything all at once now. Um, and I'm going to show you what the stocking stuffers that my mom also got for Matthew that's going to go along with it. And some of the stocking stuffers I'm actually going to put in the stocking up here, that bear one right there. I'm going to put in the mailbox tomorrow um, for Christmas Eve. It is the 23rd today. So that is going to go in the mailbox tomorrow. This might go in the mailbox too, it's a little car. It's Zumba. I was going to get all of them, but I wasn't able to get all of them. I just want to go back and get the rest of them, so we add all of them. Okay, and then a hot chocolate bomb. We have hot chocolate bombs, but we did not do my cocoa party like I normally do, just because the only time that the kids, my niece and nephew, were here was this past Thursday. Um, but like me and my mom have already talked about it and we're like we will just have hot chocolate on Christmas morning with breakfast and we can use the cocoa bombs thing. So this is for his cocoa on Christmas morning. And then me and my mom both have the same thing in mind getting him and Adams in the candy cane. Just because I grew up always getting one of these every year. So she does with the grandkids now. So um so this one will go in his stocking downstairs and this will go in his stocking up here. I don't know if I'm going to put this in the stocking or the mailbox for tomorrow. I'm trying to decide. Um, so then my mom got him along with the m and This is a nightlight and it reflects uh, on the wall. So he'll like that. And then snap bracelets. He actually does really like these. Um, he's gonna love these. Muddy buddies. They're like coated with peanut butter and then uh, powdered sugar. He's gonna love them. And then. I got him a dinosaur one one year, so he actually would go around and acting like it was a phone. And then a new sippy cup. So, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So she got him six things for his stocking. <sighs> Look down there! Santa Claus, I ate a cookie and had some chocolate milk. Oh, 
What do you think of that, Matthew? Santa Claus, eat cookie. Whoa, that's a lot of presents. Look, this one is to Matthew from Santa. Santa left you that present. Look, you got another one. Jerry's got one too. Wanna go sit on the couch? <laughs> Daddy's stocking has a foxy. So Matthew's new Paw Patrol stocking. Mm. Want to help me open it? Or do you want to grab yours? Want to see what's inside yours? Oh, you got some more M&N's. Muddy Buddies. Ooh, that's a nightlight. And it has Paw Patrol. So it goes with the Paw Patrol theme. <gasps> Slap bracelets. Dinosaur ones. Ooh. Paw Patrol bath sponges. They stick to the wall when they're wet. Ooh, look at that. And a new cup. Yay, you need a new cup, huh? What is it? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Piece of the oh, almost there. What is it? He's not doing big pieces, just a little at a time. Kid. <laughs> it's your size. It's not the big old giant guitar. <laughs> it's not a tapering though. Not like the cutest background, but I'm on my bed and it has been a pretty good day. We are just relaxing. We're not really doing anything today. Uh, but Matthew finally chose to want to go downstairs to play with his new toys downstairs. So now it's a good time for me to show you everything that uh, I got for Christmas and some of the stuff that Matthew got for Christmas. Um, one of his things is already set up over there. Um, so yeah, he got a playhouse tent that I already showed you guys. That was a Santa gift I put uh, from Santa on that box. Um, so yeah, me and David set that up. This is the bag that you put it in when you take it down. There is also a plastic bottom that can go on it, um, but we didn't put that on because inside is like fine but when you take it outside we'll put that on I really don't know when he's gonna when I'm gonna be able to actually put it down because when he's in here he's all about that house okay so Matthew also got from his grandma from my mom a kid tablet which I got it all set up and he washed some stuff on it yesterday night so, yeah, at the end of the night, I let him watch some stuff on it, and then, like, maybe an hour, and then bedtime. So, I really wanted it to be, um, 
strict with this because I don't want him to have a whole lot of screen time. I know whenever I am doing this, you guys will sometimes hear him watching stuff in the background. Um, I consider that um, him having screen time so I'm able to do this. Um, but that doesn't mean he's always like watching something. I don't want to make that perfectly clear. Um, he also got oh yeah I already showed you guys everything I got him so I'm just going to show you what other people got him but yeah he likes this he's the reason why I got this was because my mom was getting my niece and nephew one and I knew that a Matthew he wants like everything that they have so I knew that he would feel included if he had his very own and he did they were sitting there and drawing on him and he was just loving it like he he felt um special he felt like yeah he had something that the big kids had um and also the big legos were a hit as well he wanted those open like right away as soon as he opened the bag i put him in a bag um as soon as he opened the bag and uh saw them he wanted to open right away um he knew exactly what they were and yeah so oh, that's to the tent matthew also got from my mom um this truck with an airplane he just got this just has the airplane but you can get other ones that have like there's this one that has a boat like it's not a boat but i think it's a jet ski and then this looks like I don't know a fire car or something and then an SUV like a regular car and so yeah he has a plain one so we did set that up and he played with it for a little bit uh why me and David put together his uh playhouse and then I was like, okay, clean up, and then he could play. And he's gotten so good at cleaning up. I am such a proud mom. He's getting so good at uh, cleaning up because he knows when he cleans up, he's cleaning up for a reason because we're about to do another activity that he really wants to do. Um, so, I don't know. I'm getting really proud of, I'm proud of him. Um, I don't know... I think my brother is the one that got this one. He got two Paw Patrol books, and I don't know which is from who. But I think this one is from my brother, my younger brother. So it's a bunch of Paw Patrol stories, so which is really cool. I have a bunch of these on my phone on my uh, uh, Kindle app um, that are just easy for me to read to Matthew. Uh, when we are like just downstairs or when we're arriving home and I just like doctor's appointments and stuff and need to keep him entertained and I don't want him and they also have pictures on the Kindle books I uh, don't want him um, to have my phone to watch something or David's phone to watch something um, Matthew also really likes to be read to which is a great thing when your kid wants to be read to take full advantage of that if your kid likes to be read to the other Paw Patrol book. This one has a marker so he can, I think he's supposed to find the objects and circle it and he finds it. So that's going to be a fun um, activity one that we can do up here. My sister got Matthew this book which was also a hit because he likes books that he can do things with not, not just have mommy read to him. So yeah, this for my younger brother. It is a new tripod. The reason I don't have it set up right now is because I want to show it to you guys. It did also have a mic, but I don't know what it. I think I put it back in the box because it's not compatible with my phone. My phone is not an Apple phone. So, but the can but the light works and uh, the holder works. So we're going to use it for those two things but not the mic so okay so i will go over my stocking stuffers which i will have another set of stocking stuffers to show you when i get them uh 
I have mentioned that we get assigned a person to get stocking stuffers for. My older brother got me, um, but he did not have them with him. He said that some of the stuff is going to be late. Like, I guess he ordered it. So when he gets it all in, he will give it to me. Um, so that's Matthew's. So my mom went ahead and did some stocking stuffers for me so that I wouldn't have an empty stocking because she kind of knew that my brother was going to do that because he has, he kind of has like the reputation of uh, being forgetful on who he has and then he gets big things that don't even fit in his stocking. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So first off, I got a calendar for 2024 that has like sticky notes. Um, and then some chocolates. Um, that's another one of Matthew's. Notepad. I actually like this because it has a now and a later. So, and then notes down here. So I you guys are a tad bit far away, so I don't know if I had to keep my eyes that far away ever, but those are also Matthews. That's also Matthews. Um, some body spray. It's wildflowers and some body lotion. I always need these. I feel like these little hooks that stick onto the walls and easy to take off. I love these type of nails. Um, I think she got these ones from the dollar store, which I've not tried the ones at the dollar store. So it'll be interesting to see how well these are. And then some other hooks. I actually had two of these somewhere and I was trying to find them uh, when I was doing my uh, wall fireplace. And I was trying to find these to hang up the stockings. And I couldn't find them anywhere. So I got two other ones. So if I find the other ones, I have four in total. And then safety pins. Always do safety pins. Uh, chopsticks. Those are really handy. I have a zillion chopsticks. I should actually throw some away because they're probably inspired. I don't know. I have so many. Um, and then this is like a screwdriver with the different tops, so that's always handy to have. I think that's all. Alright, so another thing I got from my mom is the one who spoiled me, by the way. So this is another thing that my mom got me. It is a wall. You hang the pictures or whatever you want from it, so that's really cool. I really like that. I don't know if I will save this for when I have move out or find a place to put it now. I don't know. And another thing that I got from my mom that she made me, and she made some for my brothers. My brothers are both homeowners, so they both have their own houses. Um, these ones are Valentine ones, so you just like replace this so she like crocheted this she didn't make the tiles but she crocheted this part that you like hang up somewhere and then like maybe over your stove or something and then you put the towel through the loop so I like this one because it looks like condensation hearts it just doesn't have words on it and then the simple red hearts and then I got this Christmas one so she showed she crocheted this part onto the towel my mom is crafty like that so this is my other Christmas one with a Christmas tree and then 
this other Christmas one. Very beautiful. And then I got two fall ones. I actually have some that she's made me that I use in the bathroom. So, because I don't have my own place yet. So, whenever she gives me these, I just use them in our bathroom. And then, for this one, literally says kitchen. So, I'm going to save it for when I have the kitchen. But it... This kitchen is seasoned with love. Oh, I like that. It's so cute. A little salt and pepper. And this is the same thing. So, crochet with red and a black button. So cute. <laughs> okay, and then I got two cookbooks. And I also don't know which, who's they're from. One is from somebody, another one's from somebody. I can't remember everything that I got from people. Um, but this one is every, uh, Taste of Home Everyday Slow Cooker Recipes, so that's fun. And then this one is Soups and Breads, so I do got that bread maker. And the only reason I was going to make breads for Christmas because I had that bread maker, but my mom was making bread, so it was like, I don't want to have too many breads, but I do like soups as well. I have been eating a lot of soup this soup season. And from my mom as well, I got, I've already taken them out and uh, tried to hook them up to my laptop, but I think they only will work on the TV. Um, so I'm going to have to buy some for my laptop. I am actually, because my broke, um, my wireless earphones broke one side don't have sound in it and i've been using matthews so yeah don't make fun of me um he never uses them so but yeah i've been using his whenever i need to like edit or uh, he has my tv and yeah so um and I'm also somebody who, like, when I'm downstairs, a lot of noise um, gives me, like, it just sets my anxiety. I can't stand hearing a lot of different noises from different angles. It's It starts to make me really anxious. Uh, I have to have earphones on. So when I'm downstairs and I'm doing, like, a cooking, cooking video, uh, you guys don't normally see all of me, but believe I have earphones on because... There's like two TVs going, people talking. Um, my dad sometimes has his TV on and then he's also listening to stuff on his phone and has a full blast. And I'm just like, I'm trying to concentrate on this recipe that I've never done before. So, uh, or if I'm just doing something I've always done, I cannot concentrate with a whole bunch of noise going on. So, um, which is also weird because I can't stand not having my TV on 24 7 even if I'm not watching the TV um I like if I'm cleaning I have to have my TV on <laughs> if I'm just doing a craft or a project or something I have to have my TV on um so I try to find like a stimulating things to listen to so my brain absorbs good things and not necessarily bad things um uh, because I am into true crime and I cannot do too much true crime or I don't sleep at night because the world is a scary place. But anyways, I did get these. Um, I, I love these. Even if I can't, I haven't hooked them up to my TV. I don't even know if they will work on my TV. I don't know. I'm just used to things not working on my devices. Um, but they, they are noise canceling and when I have them on, it's so nice. It's so nice. Um, it doesn't really need to be anything pointing through them. So I might just wear these downstairs. And then I love getting things like this for Christmas because it saves me on money. And if there really is a lupa in there, which I'm not sure if there is, I needed to do one. And yep, there is. Um, and it's also, um, 
a scent I like. I love coconut butter. So this is also for my mother. This is the bag that I had Matthew's Legos in. And then we just used it to put clothes in. These bear socks for my mom. Um, these Christmas tree. And these are so soft. They are that, you know, soft. I forget what this is called. Um, what is this called? I don't ever know anything. But the outs right here, it's not the same. But inside, all the way down is. I was kind of hoping it wasn't because these socks, if you're cold, put this material on your feet warm up real fast and then I got these striped pink ones white and pink ones and my mom was like I got these at the dollar store she's like I know I never see like really long ones at the dollar store and I'm like oh that's kind of cool so they're also very soft um, and then the rest are like Matthew's clothes which I will go over that. I'll, I'll show you guys this one first. This is an outfit that my mom got him. He got two outfits that are like plaid. Um, he's had this outfit twice. He's had this outfit when he was like um, one. And now he has it when he's three. So I'm actually really excited about that. My sister got me this. I've already cleaned it. Um, it's my new water cup. I'm going to replace this one with this one just because I like that it's taller. And my water stays colder. Like it is still, like I put ice water in this like maybe five hours ago and it is still really cold. So David's mom sent Matthew a bunch of clothes that I don't think he's going to be able to wear anytime soon just because these seem a little big on him. We'll try them on, but I think they don't really say like 2T or anything, but she did. She bought these at like a Wangler or what? I don't know. Um, she bought these at like a cowboy store in Texas. She said that's where she would always buy David's clothes. And so, yeah. Um, if these don't fit him now, we will just put them away until they do fit him. And then he will have some nice jeans. There's two pairs of these jeans. They're different, but yeah. I really like these ones. This, I really love. This, oh, there's another pair of jeans. This Levi jacket. This. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. Like, this makes me want to. I don't know, go camping. There's another thing in there that reminds me of something that my mom would get us for just camping. And then another pair of jeans. this. I had a sweater um, just like this but mine was like like purple and pink and stuff and my brothers had my one of my brothers had like a blue um, like one and then my other brother had like a green one and we would wear them when we would go camping. So that's what this reminds me of. So yeah, that makes me want to take Matthew camping. Uh, this is a really, really nice shirt to like wear something because this is not something I would put in like just for any day, but this is like a very, very nice dress shirt. There's another really nice one right here that I just love. I want uh, David's size for him to wear in this because I love David in blue. Like I love Matthew in green because it complements his eyes and it, bring, it pops the green out in his eyes. Matthew has hazel eyes 
and David has very like pale blue eyes and I have green eyes or not green eyes brown eyes sorry and but together we made a hazel eye baby so here is another plaid like sweater for him this also came with pants this was from my uncle so my dad bought these for my uncle to give to Matthew and these are 40 so uh the pants definitely won't fit Matthew for a while so we'll save this until next year and then this is one that my mom got him just a nice solid blue shirt Some blue pants. Now you guys are way too close for me to show you guys these clothes. And then this yellow shirt that says Roam Free. So these blue pants can go with any of those shirts. And then, oh, these are the outfits I got him. The maroon pants, the blue pants, so you guys have already seen these ones, but I'll show you again if you didn't. Well, that's actually at the beginning of this video. I show, if I show everything that I got for people, so you guys have already seen this. I'll take you guys downstairs to show you some more of the stuff that Matthew got for Christmas and maybe David will show you some of the stuff he got. So this is also what he got for Christmas is this tool set and then that's what David got. Yeah, he broke it. It's, my mom got it for him to play with Matthew and then his Legos and then my mom got him these. It's really, really dark in here. Magnets, because uh, Leo has some, and so he wanted them. And they are in this bag that it came with. I got cookies over there. Right here? Yes, I got Christmas cookies. So, I, like, I like old school cookies, you know, they're nicely in a tin. What did you do, just get a bunch of food? Pretty much. Oh, I got some new socks. I got these blue jeans that I these jeans that I'm wearing. Yeah, they're nice. And, and I got a gray shirt that sit there and button well, a hoodie that zips up. Pretty much all I got. Hmm. But I, I I love food. That's not all you got. You got some uh um old spice stuff. Yeah, that was in my stocking stuff. Not all yeah. your Old Spice fit, fit in your stocking? Oh, I got some body wash. Yeah, you got like big there. ones. I got one big one. Uh, well. Um. So the beef sticks are good. This one here, not so much. Let me try it. It's fatty. Is Be it? Careful. Yeah. Um, and then maybe you, not. You can feel the greasy, greasiness. Okay. Feel that. Ooh. Yeah. So that, I didn't sit right with me very well. But the other one was great. So now I'm going to go over uh, the baking and stuff. So I'm going to have some clips while I'm talking um, about the baking. So uh, first let's go over the cupcakes because that ended up being... The success even though it was not an easy process baking them when i started to put everything together i realized i forgot to add extra flour um and then i we had no extra flour my mom probably used it all up um because when i got everything got the cake batter got the oil i used applesauce and eggs and stuff together and I was like this is where they're running oh I forgot the extra flour so I go looking for it and I can't find it anywhere um so I, my mom probably used our flour all the flour up for her baking so I was like okay fine we won't do extra flour 
but the extra flour really helps uh, make it more firm. Firm? Ugh. I don't know. It was very crum crumble. Like, oh God, I can't speak. It was just very crummy, like actual crumbs. And it was not fun. It was very moist. It was so. Yeah, I don't know why I keep forgetting. You can't really. Um, if you're gonna like really ice a cake like this way, where you know you use a knife to spread the frosting, you it should go in the fridge for a while so it, it can get kind of cold and hard that way. Um, but I always forget that method. Um, so yeah. Um, so there was like some stuff with the piping, and it was just it was just not fun. <laughs> Um, it was not a fun experience. It took me a while to remember that I had these bags and then I don't know how to put frosting into bags. Later on I looked it up and I was like, yeah, this is just not my calling. Um, I'm not a baker. I'm not a cake, cupcake decorator. It's not my strength. Um, I like cupcakes, but they're not my, it's like, not my strength. Anyways. They actually turned out really cute and good. My niece actually loved them and took some home with her. Um, the cake pops turn into a fudge. Um, yeah, I have a piece right here to show you guys. So it is, it is very, very, uh, firm and that's because there's some cake batter in it and I think that really does help it. It's, it has cake batter in it, um, chocolate, and then frosting. Um, so it's terribly sweet. And then I was like, yeah, why not put some more uh, sugar on top of it? you guys okay so I forgot <laughs> to get my butter out to soften it to make because this is a non-bake cake pop recipe so uh, I'm gonna put this to the side for now while this softens I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna have lunch I hate cake pops. But yeah, so those are ready. I'm gonna go. I don't know if I have enough chocolate, but I don't want like to buy another bag of chocolate. So I'm going to uh, eat breakfast and then come back out here to get these and start putting these and decorating them. And then, yeah, so I want to get this one done first and then I'm going to do the cupcakes, decorate cupcakes, and then a bunch. So put the chocolate in there. I'm not going to 
Is this right Okay, here is the frozen inspired fudge. And I had to mess up on cake pops to get that. Um, another thing that ended up being a success was the peppermint candy cane fudge. At first when I made this, and I forgot, I, at this point, um, I had made the fudge and I first just did one layer and it was like really, really thin. So I heard up we made another, another batch and poured it on top and then let it set and so the top part set just fine but when I was cutting it which I don't have footage of because I forgot my camera upstairs when I was cutting it and I was just over it by the I was like I'm not going to share any of this stuff um of this baking I'm just gonna and just not but here I am so I don't have the footage of me cutting it and seeing how um gooey it was underneath but I ended up you know cutting it and putting it into a container and then putting it back in the fridge and it just set up but it is still like this is more uh therm or oh my god this is harder like how a fudge is supposed to be all the way around this is still very like soft and uh kind of creamy uh on the bottom and then hard on the top but it is it's my favorite like the cupcakes are good but this one is my favorite fudge and I might do this again but differently I might do the chocolate but in a cake batter because I also saw you could do a, a cake batter fudge with chocolate and cake batter because the cake batter helps it set up better and the frosting doesn't really if the frosting makes it and there's a lot of frosting on these. Um, and I would rather just stick with just, like the chocolate and like maybe a cake batter. So I might try it that way. Um, but yeah. That's really good. Have a happy, happy New Year's, and hope everybody does a good job. Your tent? That is such a cool playhouse. <laughs>